Hey guys, as you saw from the intro, in this one our jungler is going to start molding as the game goes on. He thought it would be a very easy game because he picked one of the most broken heroes at the moment, Nathan. Fortunately that won't be the case and luckily I picked one of the few mages who can carry the game, Chang'o. Or else this will have been a total disaster and you will see why later into the video. The enemy's composition is quite scary and they even drafted Teresla to counter soon. Our Franco wanted to hook their blue, but the adversary was smart enough to start with the red first instead. The blissful sound of an interesting game. I could have used Flicker to secure the kill, but I didn't know where was the Granger, so it wasn't worth the risk. Remember guys, if you're the jungler, don't be too greedy just for a kill. In the early game, you can play Chang'o similar to close style, just all the wave and farm the core items as fast as possible. Her ult doesn't deal that much damage without a few items, so might as well use it to clear the way fast. Nathan was trying his best to be polite at first. XT Things are starting to look quite dire. <laughs> Teresa is quite a sturdy hero. Anyway, this is a good chance to gain a lot of gold from the turret shield. I was planning to go help, but it was already a lost fight. It's better to farm instead and not waste time. Our side laners are really struggling. I think there's a reason why his name is Zen. He's trying his best to stay calm and collected. The 
His hooks are pretty decent though. I noticed that Granger didn't have his blue, and since he was low in HP, I decided to play extra aggressive. And this when Nathan started molding XT. But I do understand his frustration though. Having an unreliable tank makes the game so much more difficult. But I also don't think everything is Franco's fault. Our jungler seemed to be extremely tilted. I had to start making some epic play and win this game, or else he might just throw his mobile device. Teresla had been free farming the top lane non stop. He just completely destroyed our monkey. Getting this kill is huge because it's a shutdown kill, and also our monkey can finally start pushing. Unfortunately, Teresla's first kill goes through shield. Poor Nathan, he just couldn't catch a break.
Damn, I even stole his savage. I really felt bad for him. Sad face. This time, Nathan is definitely out of position. I think in my next video, I will share with you all a short compilation of some of my painful experiences from solo games as well. I think a lot of you will be able to relate. <laughs>